So there's a lot, of, a lot of information and sometimes misinformation out as far as what diet do you do for diet trial. A lot of clients will do it, maybe a diet trial themselves at home, um, but a big decision is hydrolyzed or a hydrolyzed protein diet versus a, a non-hydrolyzed diet. And essentially, I kind of joke with my clients that hydrolyzed is taking lots of fancy science and technology similar to um, milk replacements for, for babies that have a milk or a soy allergy and cutting that protein down. So if your dog has eaten chicken before and they're allergic to a chicken protein that's this many kilodaltons, but now through the magic of science it's only this many kilodaltons, in theory the body is no longer allergic to it. Because this is chicken, I don't know what this is, so I can't possibly be allergic. And you know, in, out, in, out. For me, a diet trial is a lot of work for everyone. I don't have to do anything. I sell the food, I make recommendations, all the work is on the client. And so if we're going to make it count, I don't necessarily not like hydrolyzed, I just try to find something totally unique. So if they've never had kangaroo before, well, let's go to kangaroo. But if they've truly had every food ingredient out there, then we're only left with hydrolyzed, I'll still reach for it. But I still like to find something as new as possible.